YouTube, it's me, Berg, and I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Now, before I get into the video, I just want to say a disclaimer. If you've seen me wear this before, or if you see me wearing this outfit in the next couple of videos, it's not because I've been wearing the same shirt for like five days straight. I'm recording a whole bunch of videos beforehand, and I am not in the mood to change my shirt for each different time that I record because, honestly, one, I would need a shit ton of shirts. And I don't want to get them dirty just to wear them for like 5 to 10 minutes or however long I record. And two, I've been packing so I don't have that many clothes out to wear so it would be pointless. I'd be going through the same like shirts so I'm being lazy and I'm not. I'm not going to change what I wear. So I'm sorry if that bothers me but if it bothers you so much. Come do my laundry, because I am lazy. Anyway, this week's topic is top five fandoms, or the five, a list of five fandoms that you are not in anymore. Now, I'm going to talk about both book and TV show fandoms, and one of them, I'm just going to warn you now, is a little bit of a cheat, because it's not that I'm not in that fandom anymore, I'm just not as active within that fandom as I was, let's say, like five to ten years ago. So without further ado, Let's get into my list of top five fandoms that I'm not in anymore. So let's start with books. First is Divergent. Now I'm gonna let you know I wasn't that hardcore into Divergent, but I really did love the first book and I really saw the potential of becoming a fangirl for that series. However, the second book kind of was lackluster in comparison to the first and then the third book was just completely awful. That being said, I did read, I think, these books in a very short period of time, so in that way I kind of consider myself part of the fandom, or I considered myself part of the fandom because I did kind of scramble to get the next book, so I did enjoy it. But now I realize that even though the first book was good, it's not the best dystopian out there. Now for the second fandom that I'm no longer in, that is Twilight. I was an insane Twi hard for like the first two years that I think it was popular. So I was in eighth grade and my freshman year of high school. And then during that time period, I read the, like, I, again, I scrambled to get the books. I loved the books so much. Like, I reread them, like, over and over again. I loved the movies at that point. But then I realized how awful the story really is. I, I don't love the, I don't like the love triangle that they have in it. I don't like the character of Bella. I just found so many problems with it. And same thing with the movies. I just... Oh, I remember watching the last three movies and I literally only went because my family and my family friend, like their family, we would go and see it and I would sit with my brother and his friend making fun of the movies while my mom, my friend's mom and my friend were sitting there trying to focus on it because they still really loved it. And again, I was such a fangirl that after Twilight came out, I cut my hair short. I cut my hair short like Alice, which was a terrible mistake because <laughs> I, I haven't been able to get my long hair back since then. I mean, that's not the only reason why, but I blame Twilight for my decision to get a pixie haircut. Yes. So not only do I not agree with the different themes or things stated within the novels, I don't like the movies and I blame it for my, <laughs> my inability to grow my hair out which is something important to me because I really want to see how my hair is long. But I can't because it won't grow out. And it all started with Twilight. The next two are TV shows. So number three is Once Upon a Time. I remember the first season I was so into Once Upon a Time. I would watch every week, like I would watch it on TV, I wouldn't wait until they were all out and binge watch it. I literally watched every week. But then, when did it start getting bad for me? I'm pretty sure it was when they were meeting Peter Pan that I started disliking it. I just find that it's way too much drama, like it's not enough story and I don't know, it might just be the writing or it might be the actors, I don't know, but they just seem so like whiny and just, I don't know. I, th I really think after the first season it kind of fell flat, but I, I haven't even watched, I think, the last 
season and a half, so I really don't know. It might have gotten better. I did watch a little bit of the one with Hades because Greek mythology, I wanted to see if they delved into that a bit more, but I got annoyed and couldn't be bothered to watch the rest of it. So sadly, I'm no longer a Once Upon a Time fangirl, but I would at some point, I think, like to finish the series to see how it is. Although I've heard that everybody from the cast is leaving like this next coming season, so I kind of, I'm interested to see what they're gonna do when everybody leaves, but yeah, as of right now, I don't plan on watching Once Upon a Time or catching up or any of that. The other TV show that I've kind of fallen out of the fandom is Doctor Who, and I hate it because I, I remember when I first when I first binge watched Doctor Who, I think it was two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. I really enjoyed it. And I really do want to go back and watch like the original series. But uh, I don't know. I don't want to hate on, what is he, uh, Peter Capaldi. Is he the 13th Doctor? Whatever Doctor he is, I, I don't want to hate on him. Because I feel like everybody does. And it, they started hating on him before even, he even started as the Doctor. But... Uh, I don't know necessarily if I don't like him portraying the Doctor or if it's just I don't like how this Doctor is written. It's just that I'm not interested in watching it anymore. I mean, I, I've been watching it, but I kind of missed the last three or four es episodes, and I, I'm not really bothered that I haven't watched them, so yeah, I'm not much of a... Doctor Who fan anymore, sadly. Finally is the book fandom that I said was kind of cheating that I'm still in and I'm still a part of, but I'm less active than I was a couple of years ago, and that is the Harry Potter fandom. I've been in the Potterhead fandom since I was in sixth grade, so it's been 10 years. So it's been a long time. But I think it's a combination of the fact that I've read the books four times a year for the first five years I was in the fandom. The movies, which were good when I was growing up watching them, but when I've gotten older and I kind of compare them more to the book, I don't enjoy them as much. And I don't know, I just haven't been in the mood to watch the movies. I think it's because they literally, on ABC Family, which is now Freeform, they make a Harry Potter weekend literally every weekend. Now, when I was hardcore into the fandom, I, I enjoyed that. I would watch it every time it was on but now I think I think I've just had a little bit too much Harry Potter and it might also be because I want something new and the cursed child was kind of a disappointment <laughs> so that kind of turned me off of it but yeah I was so much into the fandom that when Pottermore was announced I stayed up for like the first three days of the Pottermore like early access competition thing to get in earlier and I did which was, which was fun. But even with that, I think I would have preferred a book containing like all the information, like an encyclopedia kind of book, which I think there might actually be some now, I'm not sure. But yeah, I would have preferred it in book form, even though I did think Pottermore was really cool. I just, I don't know. It, I, I, I just would have preferred a book. I have, however, been to the studio tour in London twice and I'm going a third time, so I'm still very much in the Harry Potter fandom. And I do plan on rereading the books in December because I think the last time I read them was my freshman year in college. So it's been a while, so I'm hoping that having that time off of Harry Potter, and I haven't even watched the movies during that time, it'll kind of make me want to be more active in the fandom as well. So yeah, those are the five fandoms that I'm no longer in. No longer in. <laughs> Please let me know what fandoms you are no longer in and why. And I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.